Hello everyone. Advent season is not just about preparing for the commemoration of the birth of Jesus. It is also about preparing the way for the return of Jesus. Hence the scripture readings during this time focus on both the first and second coming of Jesus Christ. In the first week we heard of Jesus' own prediction about his return at the end of time which broadly refers to the time of our own death when God will call us to meet him and give him an account of our life on earth. But since no one knows that hour, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone, we are commanded to watch continually for the coming of Christ. In the second week, we read about the prophet John the Baptist, who had started preaching before Jesus and called upon all people of Israel to repent and prepare their hearts for the coming Christ, the Messiah. This refers to the first coming. Sincere repentance has always been a necessary element for salvation. Therefore, we are urged not to depend overly on the piety and righteousness of our parents and others, but instead personally truly repent of our sins and profess our belief in Jesus Christ. Repentance must be followed by a change in our life. Last week, we read of Jesus himself confirming that all the prophecies given by all the prophets find their fulfillment in him. When John the Baptist was in prison, although he seemed to have openly wondered if Jesus was the promised Messiah, yet we know he believed Jesus to be the Messiah. So we too, in spite of all doubts, are called upon to believe and accept Jesus as the Messiah. Friends, in today's Gospel we read how the birth of Jesus really came about. Matthew writes that Jesus' mother Mary became pregnant not because of Joseph but because the child was conceived miraculously through the Holy Spirit. The Bible does not tell us exactly when Mary and Joseph were married, but Matthew describes that they were betrothed before they lived together. According to Jewish custom, in ancient times, an engaged couple could not live together nor have sexual relations until after the marriage ceremony. And betrothals or engagements were binding and could only be terminated by an official divorce decree. Therefore, for Mary to become pregnant before her marriage must have been a huge embarrassment and shock to her and Joseph as well as to their families and friends. So, it is no wonder we read that Joseph, being a righteous man, meaning a man faithful to the Jewish law and practices, wanted to break his ties and divorce Mary quietly. But God in his wisdom and mercy intervened through an angel to reassure Joseph not to be afraid to take Mary for his wife, just as he had reassured Mary. The angel told Joseph that the child to be born was conceived by God the Holy Spirit and not by a human father and that the child in Mary's womb was no ordinary baby. He would be fully human and fully God. His name would be Jesus which means God saves and he would be Emmanuel which means God with us as the prophet Isaiah had pro predicted. Friends. What is the message for us? 1. The conception and birth of Jesus was a supernatural event and it continues to remain an enigma to the human mind because it is outside the realm of scientific explanation. However, to be a Christian one must believe in the virgin birth. If we do not believe in the virgin birth, then our faith is of no value. Two. Let us truly believe that Jesus Christ was the incarnation of God himself and that he was born for us and he dwells in us and he wants to save us from our sin. 3. Let us reassure one another, particularly those who are weak and weary, anxious and fearful believers, that God is with us and he will comfort us in our pain and suffering and will lead us through this life. Amen. I wish you all blessings and joy this Christmas. God bless you.